you withhold your child from the father intentionally because you're mad, bitter, angry, or whatever the case is, you should go to jail because it is statistically proven that children growing up in single mother homes have more problems later on in life. So you are intentionally setting them up for failure by doing this. And you cannot tell me that that's not some form of child abuse. We always tell the fathers, oh, you need to fight for your kids. You need to fight for your kids. But why does nobody ask why these fathers have to fight in the first place? And before you all come at me and say that they're drug addicts and they're abusive and they're alcoholics and all of the excuses that women love to use, don't forget that he was still an alcoholic or a drug addict or a piece of shit or a bad person before you decided to lay down with this man and have a child. And either way, it doesn't take away his rights as a father. It doesn't matter. Unless you have solid proof that the child is in physical harm or danger, there is nothing that you can do about it. So when you all bring it to social media expecting to gain sympathy and validation, you're only making yourself look stupid for the poor choices that you made. And it is absolutely diabolical and inexcusable to keep the father away from your child knowing damn well that he's ready, willing, and able to step up. Okay, bye.